Good morning guys, my name is Ali on this channel we talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and continue on watching. Today I'm going to discuss a little bit about M1 Finance. As you guys can see over here, I have nine holdings, nine positions. I have uh, this amount invested. My portfolio is up to 76, which gives us a gain of $8.68. It's not very much, all of it's all tiny amounts, but at least... Uh, overall everything is up so if we basically look, go go to the portfolio over here you can see the gains over a lifetime of eight dollars and eighty three cents and dividends um, 12 cents and um, overall it's pretty good so that's what my portfolio is value at valued at 276 72 So if we come down here, if we go under holdings and click on unrealized unrealized um, gain, you could basically see what is your best performer. We could see um, uh, Meta is doing really well, uh, followed by Tesla, and then um, my only ETF that I have, which is um, Vanguard um, ETF. Those are my third top, and then the bottom one is um, um, Microsoft. The next step you want to pay attention to is your funding history. You come down here and it shows you how much money you have funded into this account so far. So basically I have um, for 2002, I have $160. For 2003, which is today is uh, 227 2003 I have $108. That's total funding. This step will also show you your deposits and your withdrawals, but I did not make any withdrawals out of this account. So, so far, you see the um, the green right here, that's deposit for uh, 2023, and that's a deposit for 2022. That's all under funding history tab. So if we go under uh, activity tab over here, portfolio, activity, and then you come down here to activity type, click on that, and it shows you basically the options that you have here, trading, uh, dividends, uh, deposits, and withdrawals, cash uh, movement, and position holding. So if we undo everything and just leave dividends, for example, you could see my only dividends is from the Apple uh, stocks, and um, basically I have four, uh, 0.04 cents, and what happened with that money it gets it gets put into your buying power up here and it gets invested into the stock okay so that's how that works with dividends so every time you collect dividends from any stocks that you have it goes into your buying power here and you get to um, put it back into your stocks and um, build a compound interest let me point out also that uh, M1 Finance allows you to do fractional share. So I actually don't have a full share. If you look at your holdings right here, if you look at Apple, where you know I got 0.04% um, of um, uh, 0.04% in dividends, I don't really have. Like if you look down here, I don't even have a full share. I have a 0.18 of a share. Those are all fractional shares here. I don't have a full share of any of these um, uh, stocks that I bought or the ETF. You know what I mean? Uh, well, the ETF's not gonna, you have to have a, what is it? Um, $362 here to have a share. I mean, to have a full um, full share, you need uh, $309 to have a full share with Berkshire. With Tesla, you have to have uh, $162 and so on and so forth. Right now, um, we are getting closer to owning a whole, uh, a, a complete share. But the, my point is here is the reason the, the dividends is so low because I have a fractional share, not a full share with um, Apple. And that's the only dividends paying stock that I have in my portfolio. So say for example, you wanna sell some of your stocks, okay? You would go under your portfolio and select a um, uh, stock that you want to sell. Say if you want to sell some Meta, click on Meta. 
uh, come down here click on buy and sell buy sell and um, you would switch over to sell click on the tab right here and basically what they ask you to do is turn off the auto invest and uh, so you can sell whatever you you know we have thirty four dollars and seventy two cents right now you have to turn off the um, uh, auto invest in order for you to do that but uh, M1 finance I'm sorry M1 finance sorry guys I'm under the weather a little bit today <laughs> Uh, M1 Finance designed to buy and hold. It's an investing platform. It's not a trading platform. So most of the people that have an M1 Finance account, they're um, in it for for the long for the long haul. Basically, buy and hold, and that's what my plans are too to buy and hold. But in the event that you want to do that, that's where it's done. You would go under Portfolio, Buy and Sell. Select the, I mean, no, go under portfolio and then select the stock that you want and then click on buy and sell. Sorry about that. Hang on, guys. Go right here. I don't know why it's not working properly. And um, yeah, go here. Go on your, your already in pro portfolio and then go down to the stock that you want to buy or sell. Like, say, if I want to buy some more Tesla, for example, I would click on Tesla. And then I would come down here to buy and sell. It already defaults. When it goes in the next screen, like say if you want to buy individual stock, it already defaults in the uh, buy. So you can come in here and put in like 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks. It all depends on what you need. And uh, right now my buying power is zero. And uh, if there was any money in my buying power, which is back here, let me show you where it is. Right here, buying it, it, it deposit the way I have it set up. It deposits twenty five bucks every Monday, um, so it's uh, four. It's a hundred bucks a month. So basically, on Monday, it's going to deposit twenty five dollars. So that should be coming here pretty soon. In the event that I want to buy more Tesla, I would go under buy sell, and then I would take all my buying power. Right now, it's say twenty five bucks here. And I would put in $25 and hit continue and it would take uh, whatever uh, money I have in my buying power and it will, put to, it will put it all into Tesla. I hope this helps, guys. Uh, say if you want to sell completely out of a stock. So if we got Microsoft over here, for example, if you go under, hold on a second, let me go back so you guys can follow what I'm doing. If you go under your... Um, let it let it load right here okay so if you go over here to your um, under your por portfolio and then you go down to edit and it's going to show you all your holdings all your stocks and ETFs so say for example you want to sell completely out of Amazon you would click on Amazon and you would go in here and delete it so what it's going to do is going to take all your holdings from Amazon and it's going to put it into your buying power and it's going to get reallocated based on how you have your um, your target uh, values are. But it's gonna ask you when you sell this, you would have to adjust the pie to go back to 100% to because right now you have 11% in the Amazon. So I hope that makes sense. If you wanna sell Amazon completely, you would just hit delete and automatically sells it. I think that's all I have for you guys today. I don't have a whole lot. I just want to keep this video pretty short. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Tick the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload uh, new content. Uh, if um, you have any comments at all, please leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Even if I don't have the answer, I'll try to research it and get back to you guys. Have a wonderful day. And um, thank you for watching. And um, best of luck.